Hey everyone, how are you doing today? It's Marla. Hopefully everyone is doing well. This is coming to you from Florida. I'm hoping to get kind of an update, life update up within the next couple of months, but this video is going to be how I basically keep my weight pretty much maintained. I've had the same weight now for the past couple of years, even though I'm 58 right now. And these are just some of the tips and tricks that I use for stocking my cabinets and how I eat and how I think about eating during the day. There's no secret to how to maintain your weight. It's just a matter of getting your mindset into accepting that that's how you're going to be eating. I'll show you some of the things I eat and why I eat them and maybe this will help some people that are kind of trying to figure out how to do meal plans, how to think about, I don't want to say dieting because I don't even think of what I do as a diet. It's just a way that I eat. Without me talking any further, let's get started with this video on how I kind of keep a flat tummy. I keep my body mass index very low. My HDL the last time it was checked last year was like 70, which was at the top of the HDL range on my lab work, and that is the good cholesterol. So my cholesterol is great, even though I have other health issues those kind of things are really kept in check. So let's get started and I will show you how I eat healthy and how I maintain my weight and keep my body mass index low so my tummy is also flatter. Before I get into talking about how I eat, one of my subscribers suggested that once in a while I do an outfit of the day when I'm doing a video. So this is my outfit of the day. Well, it's really my outfit of the evening. I'm going to a Jackson Brown concert who I love. I've seen him so many times. I love this sweater. I have it in black and cream. I love the big sleeves on it. And I love the way the collar is. It's not quite a turtleneck. Really cool collar. These pants pants are great, but I don't think you can find them anymore. I actually bought these at Walmart, which is crazy. These shoes, I think, are still available. I will link them below if I can find them. I'll link the sweater below if I can find it. The pants were from four or five years ago, so I don't think I'm going to be able to find those. And the little silver purse, I will link below also. So this is how I think about food. When I'm buying food and when I'm eating food, I'm thinking about the glycemic index of the food. Now, I'm not sure you're familiar with glycemic index, what the glycemic index is. It is a number that is assigned to food, and that number tells you how drastically that food is going to make your blood sugar rise. The higher the number, the higher the glycemic index. So that's something I don't want. If you're looking through the cabinets in my house, I really have very minimal processed food. I don't buy chips. I don't buy crackers. I don't buy popcorn. I don't have any of that stuff in the house. In order to eat it, I have to leave the house. If you look through my cabinets, you're going to see a lot of rice. You're going to see some canned green vegetables because I don't always have fresh vegetables around. And I definitely want to eat a lot of greens. So you'll see spinach you'll see green beans, you'll see a lot of legumes like black beans, lentils, things like that. I have uh, chicken broth, bone broth in there, but that's it. I don't have really much of anything else. In the refrigerator, I have peanut butter that I got from my whole food store, so there's no sugar added. And if you look at peanut butter, peanut butter has a low glycemic index and is recommended for diabetics. I'm not a diabetic, but I try as hard as possible to try to eat like a diabetic. And my choices aren't always perfect but this is how I eat. So you're, again, you're looking through my cabinets. I have some oatmeal for my son. I normally don't eat oatmeal. Uh, that's not kind of my breakfast of choice. I have some little kind of things that can be put over rice, but my, my life revolves around kind of rice, a minimal amount of carbohydrates if possible, and protein, a little bit of dairy, nuts, particularly almonds, and some fruit, but I don't go crazy with fruit either. So now I'm showing you all my canned veggies, my spinach, and I try to buy low salt if possible. And I know this is controversial for some people, but I don't use any artificial sweet 
sweeteners. If I'm going to use sugar, I use real sugar. I don't eat at McDonald's or any fast food restaurants. I don't drink any alcohol, no fruit juices, no soda. That's kind of how I think. I've, I've kind of grown to eat like that and I don't really miss it. And the thing that's really helped me is to have minimally processed foods in the house. I've come to understand that if I have a food in the house that has a lot of sugar in it and it's just sitting there staring at me, over time I will probably eat it. So I just don't have it in the house. My first tip is look for low glycemic index foods. All right, my weakness is coffee. I am a coffee hoarder, as you can see by all the bags that I have in my cabinet. And it is my morning cup of coffee that I refuse to bend on. I have to have coffee in the morning. I refuse to drink it black. And I want to have just a touch of sweetness to it. So I'm going to use some of my almond milk. I try to use the lowest calorie almond milk and then I put just a tiny, tiny, tiniest bit of little sweetener in it, a creamer that makes me happy. I know it doesn't have a great glycemic index, but it's the one time during the day that I do bend the rules and I think that kind of thing is necessary. Being able to eat and enjoy your food and enjoy your day is really important so I won't give up my little cup of coffee in the morning with my creamer. As many of you know, I have fibromyalgia. I also have small fiber neuropathy. I am on Lyrica. I'm also on an opioid patch. If you don't know anything about opioids, opioids constipate you. I also take iron. Iron constipates me. I cannot have eggs first thing in the morning. It's imperative that I have something that helps me, you know, go to the bathroom. So I have brand cereal. I also have colase and I have magnesium oxide, which also seems to help with constipation. So I have this down to a fine science. So I have to have my all brand buds in the morning. All brand has a low glycemic index, so it works in really well with my meal planning. I just use some skim milk over it, and I have a low glycemic index breakfast. And then I will have a little bit of protein midday. One of my favorite midday snacks is nuts. And almonds are a great choice for snacking, just a handful of nuts. Almonds have basically almost zero glycemic index or a zero glycemic index. So they are perfect. They don't affect your blood sugar. I have a handful of nuts midday just to kind of give me some protein and give me a little bit of energy. Something else I rarely have is smoothies. I just don't eat a lot of smoothies. I just find them to be kind of a little sugary. If I am going to do a smoothie, I like to do it with this organic PB Fit peanut butter. It's all natural, gluten-free. I use just a tablespoon of this. It only has two grams of sugar. I mix it with the low-calorie Almond Breeze almond milk. And then I just put one small tablespoon of natural peanut butter in. It's delicious. I mix it up. It's a great shake that packs a lot of protein. I put no fruit in it. I get my greens at night, so I really don't need to throw any greens in there. It's just a delicious kind of peanut buttery shake. It tastes so good. It gives me protein and also gives me a pick-me-up. So this is another alternative that I use frequently as a midday snack. Peanut butter has a low glycemic index. It helps stabilize your blood sugars and your insulin. And the peanut butter powder is 90% less fat and one-third the calories of regular peanut butter. This would be a typical lunch for me. I saw a similar recipe online and I thought it looked delicious. I'm taking a ripe avocado and splitting it in half. It's a smaller avocado and I'm putting one egg in it. If you have a larger avocado, you'd be able to fit two eggs in there, but I can only kind of get down one egg and one um, avocado. So you get the protein from the avocado, the protein from the egg, which is great. And then I sprinkle a little bit of pepper on that, some Parmesan cheese. I bake it in the oven and it comes out delicious. This is probably one of the best lunches. It's so good. And then I put a little bit of brown rice on the side. This would be a typical lunch for me. Low glycemic index. Again, that's kind of how my mind works when it comes to looking at food. 
I don't really snack anymore. I have just kind of my meals of the day and I have tea in the afternoon. It really kind of fills me up. I just drink regular tea or I drink hot lemon water and it feels like a great detox. One of my favorite teas is the tea that I buy down in Florida. It is called Little Monkey Tea and it is delicious. It's a little fruity so it's almost naturally a little sweet. It's caffeine free and I love it. It's very common. I'm not a tea drinker, but I love this hot tea. This is the only snacking I do in the afternoon. I will put a link in the description box uh, to the store where I buy my little monkey tea. I'm showing you two typical dinners I would eat. I've cut back a lot on red meat, so I would have a very small portion of grilled chicken or grilled fish or beans or seeds and nuts with some rice. With every meal, my secret is green beans. I remember the vet telling me, give my dog green beans to lose weight. I've been eating them with one meal a day and it definitely helps. And I also add another vegetable. Here I have spinach, but I also like to add carrots or squash. Any other vegetable will do. This would be a typical dinner plate for me at around five or six o'clock in the evening. Green beans are the key for me to filling up with some fiber and having very few calories. Another typical dinner for me would be having green beans again with some rice, but this time I've sprinkled on some sunflower seeds. I love seeds. I always have rice periodically throughout the day. And again, green beans are kind of my secret weapon to filling up and getting greens while at the same time having a low glycemic index food. For a little bit of dessert in the evening, I like to get a little bit of frozen blueberries that have no sugar added. They have also a low glycemic load. Or I even like to have some yogurt. Now, plain yogurt has a glycemic index of 14, which is very low. Fruit yogurt has a higher glycemic index due to the added sugar and the fruit in the yogurt, but it still ranks on the lower end of the scale at around 36. So I still consider it a lower glycemic index food. And it's great for a little bit of a snack in the evening. That's it. That is how I kind of manage my eating. I really don't feel deprived at all. I kind of gotten used to eating this way. I put a very small, tiny bit of butter, just a small little bit on my vegetables and my rice. But I have learned to eat things on a little bit of a drier side. I only drink water. Like I said, no alcohol, minimal processed foods, no fast food if possible. I look at food foods for their glycemic index. That's how I pick them to buy and that's how I eat them. And also beans. Beans have really helped me manage my weight very well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye bye from Marla.